In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this stunning slide in PowerPoint. You can type your company name or the title on the top and this is the GIF file which I have downloaded from the internet and when I click it will start revolving. And the next click it will show the menu like about us, clients, vision and the contact. And when I click it will give the detail of each menu item. So when I click it will show you about us and it will give you the detailed text here and the next slide will go back to the original main menu and then when I click it will go to the clients likewise you can do for the other menu items so so let's see how we can create this slide in PowerPoint add a new slide right mouse click go to the format background and give a gradient fill here I have used the combination of a dark blue and a light blue uh, color and if you want you can give your own color combinations here. Then go to insert shapes and select a rounded corner rectangle and give the height as 6.2 inches and width as 11.7 inches. Align it center and middle and make the curves less here. And make it no borders and you can give the format shape a gradient fill. Again I'm going to use a light blue and a combination of a dark blue. And you can change the direction something the light blue should come on top then go to insert pictures and select the image the gif file which i have downloaded from the internet and if i play it will start revolving or rotating if you want to increase the size you can increase the size then align center and align middle go to insert shape and select oval shape this is i'm just going to give uh, some brightness uh, the back side so give a white fill without any borders and go to the format glow and give a glow the color of the glow I'm going to give as a white and if you want to increase the transparency or the size you can do that one and then go to the soft edges increase the soft edges and then send this oval shape to back of the earth If you want to do some more modifications, you can do it. I'm just going to increase the size a little bit and put it here. This is okay. Then go to insert shapes and select a rectangle. Make a small rectangle shape. You can add four or five up to it's up to your requirement make it a white fill and give it no outline and i'm going to insert some pictures into it select any good pictures again there are some pictures which i have downloaded from the internet and you have to make sure that these are not copyright images and i'm going to add a, a text for example i'll say about us I'm using the fold Oswald or it's up to you to which font you want to use and give a white color and group it press ctrl G to group it and then press ctrl D to add four or five menu items so in this case I'm going to use four menu items and then you can start changing the image
always try to use uh, good images in your presentations and then you can change the menu item like maybe vision mission or a contact Now go to animation, enable the animation pane and I'm going to give the animation which is say a rise up. Rise up with previous and I'm going to delay for 25 seconds then this will be 50 seconds the other will be 75 seconds and if I play it will show you something like this. go to insert text uh, type a text here which is the title here you can add any of your title there again choose the right combination of the text it should be white so that otherwise it it won't be visible if you put some different uh, color here now i'm going to duplicate this slide and delete the animation existing animation from the second slide from the duplicate slide and ungroup this this one should be grouped don't do anything only first menu item ungroup it then go to insert shape add one more rectangle at the bottom make it no outline and give a white color and animation you can give uh, maybe rise up or float up maybe the rise up is okay and the timing you can make it fast or very fast let it be fast no issues with that and then i'm going to give the animation for this the about us image select the image go to add animation scroll down and select the motion path line and just drag the line there's a photo somewhere on the white rectangle make this as with previous and the first animation also should be with previous so if i go to the first slide the menu will come and then the about us image is going uh, back side so we have to bring to front so let's see now Still it is going back so I'm going to select bring to front now let's see yeah this is okay go to animation effect and make it fast medium is very small slow so this is okay and I'm going to add one more animation say add animation and grow and shrink you can grow and shrink to any number of person you need and I'm making it with previous and you can see it's uh, it's growing and the duration make it fast and move a little bit to the left side and the size I'm making it 150 if you want you can make it 200 also yeah this is perfect and for the about us i'm going to copy the same animation of the image select the image animation painter and apply it on the about us and just drag this arrow towards the top of the rectangle so if you see here about us is going on the top and the image is coming the down
this is perfect and then you can add the text so I'm just going to use a random text which is equals lorem within brackets one and change if you want to change the font justifications you can uh, do that one i'm going to give the blue font so let's see the slideshow it comes the menu and then the second it is showing but i have not give any animation on the text so i have to give the animation on the text now select the text and give any animation maybe i'll just give appear or the fade will be better and this you can make it with previous or after previous let's see with previous how it looks like no with previous doesn't look good because it's coming at the same time so i'll just make it after previous yeah this is okay and then the these three images this should not be there it should be i'll use a more exit path i'll say fade out and this should happen with previous and if you see here the text comes there and it goes so i'm just bringing this on top of the text so let's see here yeah, this is okay i believe and i'm going to select the the earth press ctrl g to duplicate and i'm going to give the animation the first animation I'm going to give as a line because I'm just making it towards the right side of the slide. This also you make it with previous. And I'm going to give one more animation effect. Add animation again, grow and shrink. This also you should be making it with previous. and let's see here and then the earth goes towards the right side you can give a size maybe 250 percent let's see how 250 percent looks this looks very big so maybe make it 200 percent and uh, duration make it fast and the down also you make it fast so let's see this is okay and i'm going to add one small or uh, one rectangle and give the same gradient fill as the background I will tell you why I am doing this one. Now if you see my slides, you can see this is a separate a frame I have put on the top. So I am just going to do the same thing, add a new slide, bring this rectangle here and cover it the whole slide make it no outline and copy this rectangle and paste it here and select the rectangle and the smaller one go to format merge shape and say subtract so you got this particular frame there copy this frame and put it on top of the slide So if you see now when I click you can see the earth is not going beyond the borders align it properly
and that's it that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye